should already know the structure of the heart. Before we look at how the heart actually works, you may want to refresh your memory of the different parts by watching this video first. The main job description of this muscular organ is to pump oxygenated blood throughout your body, from the top of your brain to the tips of your toes. In fact, your heart transports all your blood around your body about 1,000 times a day. Let's look at how this happens. A main function of blood is to transport oxygen to cells in your body. The role is carried out by red blood cells, which contain an important protein called haemoglobin. So when we breathe in, oxygen latches onto an active site on the haemoglobin in the red blood cells that contains a single iron atom. We can think of it like a seat on a shuttle bus. The oxygen molecules must first find their seat and put their seat belts on before the bus can move. Once the bus gets moving, the oxygen molecules are released when they reach their destination, which could be anywhere in your body. The deoxygenated blood as an empty shuttle bus returns to your heart. So the deoxygenated blood has arrived at the heart. Remember that the heart has four chambers, the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle, each with its own specific role. These chambers are separated by valves, which act as floodgates, ensuring that blood only flows in one direction, traveling back from all around our bodies. The deoxygenated blood returns to the right atrium of your heart via two veins, the superior vena cava, if it's coming from the upper part of your body, and the inferior vena cava, if it's from the lower part. The blood then passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The tricuspid valve acts as a special gate designed so that the deoxygenated blood can only flow onwards into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, it forces this deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, which branches out into the right and left lungs. Talk about an efficient system. The deoxygenated blood flows through the lungs, becomes oxygenated and then returns to the heart. Like the pulmonary arteries, there are two pulmonary veins, one from the right lung and the other from the left. Both work together to bring in the freshly oxygenated blood, which enters into the left atrium of the heart. The blood doesn't stay there for long as it enters the left ventricle via the mitral valve, which is also known as the bicuspid valve. Like all other valves before it, the mitral or bicuspid valve is designed to ensure one direction blood flow. The real magic happens in the left ventricle when it contracts powerfully. This sends the new oxygenated blood through the aortic valve in to the aorta. And then off the oxygenated blood goes all around your body. As you can see, this oxygen delivery system is highly efficient. All four chambers of the heart and their associated veins, arteries and valves work as a team to ensure all cells in your body receive their much needed oxygen. Maybe you've heard your heart described as a dual pump. The first pump is the blood going from the heart to your lungs, and the second bigger pump sends the oxygenated blood all around your body. On top of the right atrium is a natural pacemaker called a senoatrial node. This produces an electrical impulse or signal to the atrioventricular node, which is found in between the atria and ventricles of your heart. The electrical conduction ensures the proper functioning of your heart. In some individuals, this system doesn't work perfectly, and so they can be fitted with a pacemaker to ensure the electrical impulses control the heartbeat properly. To learn more about your heartbeat and your pulse, watch this video. What a clever system! All components working together in sync, passing the baton like a relay if team. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.